Good morning, everyone. I'm Paladin, and welcome back to more Pal Plays Pikmin. Yesterday, we went to the Forest Naval, and beside, uh, aside from dying, we got three ship parts, and we paved the way to getting one more. Today, we're actually not going to the Forest Naval because I looked down before this episode started at our ki Pikmin count, and I saw that we only have 33 blue Pikmin, and that made me really nervous. We don't have enough to do what we want to do, do what I want to do in the Forest Naval. So, we're going to the Forest of Hope today to get the last three ship parts in the Forest of Hope. Also, it's been only two days since we've been to the Forest of Hope, so some of the enemies that we have killed on our last day there will still be dead. They have not respawned yet, so... I feel that this is actually the better choice to go to, the better place to go to, and then we can clear this out for good and never have to return to the Forest of Hope. So, let's jump in. Now, there are three parts for us to get today, as you can see by the little star gauge on the bottom. I never really explained that, but the stars are the ship parts in the area. So, there are three ship parts to get, and there we have two bosses to fight today. So, let's go ahead and start off by plucking Pikmin. I really, this is really kind of a waste of time, but the last uh, last few Pikmin will be useful, and I don't want to leave them here because this is our last day. So, let's go ahead and deposit the last, the uh, two yellows into the onion, since we do not need them. Instead, we're going to withdraw all 33 of the blue, throw one red onto the grass and throw one blue onto the grass there and then the rest of the Pikmin will be reds because they're going to be our fighting force we really only need the blues for accessibility although they're going to be harvesting one of the bosses and that boss gives us quite a bit of Pikmin so we're going to be bringing up our our blues to about 100 so that's cool Okay, so where we're going first is this these bridges, which we've seen before, but we've never never worked on them. Okay, come on, guys. Now, let's bring the Pikmin over here, turn about, and grab our blue Pikmin. We're going to have them start first, because they have more work to do. I'm going to set t uh, about 20 of them on this bridge here. Speed throwing is best. And one more. There we go. So now that we have 20 of them on that bridge, then we can set a couple more reds on the other bridge. Now, those little tadpole things in the pond are what are called wally wogs. Uh, um, not wally wogs, sorry. Wog poles. There we go. No, that's way too many. Come on, guys. Uh, a few more. There we go. That's that's fine, I think. Okay. So, yeah, they're, they are wog poles. They are the larval form of an enemy that we have not faced yet, though we have seen it. Um, Wally wogs. Those things are evil, and, um, yeah, nothing more than that. They don't hurt you. The wog poles do not hurt you. Um, they're not worth the effort of chasing down and harvesting, so just ignore them. So, going on with what we're actually doing right now. You want to grab your blues, the remainder of your blues, and set them on this gate over here. Am I zoomed out? Yes, I am. So we're going to set them on this gate and leave them be. This is a white gate, so 11 Pikmin are going to be enough to take that down. And in the meantime, we're going to go to the other third area with our reds and take down two bosses. Or one. Sorry, one. We're going to be fighting the Burrowing Snagret. It is a snake bird creature. It cannot fly. It is it is uh, limited to being on the ground. But it can be a big pain. And there are actually three of them here that we only need to defeat one. I might defeat two just because one of them is going to be in our way. But yeah. Okay, now to cross this, you want to throw ten Pikmin onto the top of this. That's about enough. Now the rest, just move to the side. For some odd reason, um, the Pikmin dismiss themselves on this box, so they're kind of a pain. 
And it's funny, the box started moving before those Pikmin even started pushing it. So that's that's very funny. Okay, now we want we want about 20, that's good. We want about 20 Pikmin to cross this land bridge because if you have any more they will fall off. Now, uh they the Burrowing Stagger, wait just a second. Okay, so they're well on our, on their way. They're almost done. And they're almost done. And they are done, because you could hear the little jingle in the background about a minute ago. So they're done. Okay, there is one snagger around here, and another one right about here, in the center. And then the other one is on the location of that star. So, we're just going to kind of find them just by running through. Okay, there's one. Now the other one is way out of the way, don't bother killing that. Here's the one we want to defeat. Go ahead and speed throw onto the head, and that will take him down okay he's gonna go in the ground now when he pops back up you want to speed throw again before he's even up as he starts getting off and i'm not throwing very well lost three more pikmin okay whistle everyone there we go just throw him on the head oh man he we're doing very badly well i am nothing on you guys okay good he he grabs some more good he grabbed us some more, allowing us to get more damage off of him. Okay, speed throw. There we go, he's gonna be dead. Oh, well, he he ate the Pikmin before the uh, before he died, so we lost 11 Pikmin. That really stinks, but I think that's fine. Okay, you die. Okay, we're not going to defeat the other ones, because we're... We don't... We barely have enough time, I'm stuttering, to do everything that we want to do, so... We're just going to kind of speed through this area, hoping that they don't grab our guys. Okay. Now, we're only going to have them carry the Geiger counter, which I'll let Olimar take it away. Every spaceship needs one of these, but I don't know. Don't know I, duh. I don't actually know what it's for. Every once in a while, it goes wild and lets out a lot of noise, but I never pay much attention to it, so it doesn't do me much good. I really should read that manual one of these days. So... In case you guys don't know what a Geiger counter does, it it measures the amount of radiation in an area. And for that to be going off and him to be ignoring it, that means he's in some deep radioactive trouble. Okay, we're going to try to distract this guy. Come on, don't touch them. There we go. Okay, keep going, keep going. You can't touch us. There we go, he's safe. Now, let's actually put some of these reds on these pellet posies. I don't think... I think they're fast enough that he won't get them. Nope. Okay, he missed. Well, he got one, but that's fine. Don't. Okay, you missed. Okay. Yes! Don't. Okay, good. They're, they're by, and we will get a lot of red Pikmin from that. Okay. Now, I believe... Okay, they're both almost done. So we can go ahead and harvest that, and then get that out of the way and free up our blues, because the other boss, not the... Not the, uh, Burrowing Snaggeret, but the other boss that we're facing today, that one is what we're going to be harvesting with the blues. And they're both done. Sweet. Okay, let's use our reds to gather this treasure. We it need exactly 20, so... That's fine. And go here and there. And this is the Sagittarius, or Sagittarius, rather. Um, Olimar's son gave it to me as a present, or my son gave this to me as a present. It gives gives to my, it brings to mind vision of, visions of my son back home on planet Hokitate. Oh, to be there right now. Okay, so let's set these Pikmin to carry it. Don't dismiss them, then they can take from there. Uh, you got it. Please, you can do it. Ha, uh, buddy. Come on. I'll help you. Okay, come on. Now, while they're carrying that, we're going to set these blue Pikmin on the sheer grubs. And that'll raise their numbers up a little bit. It's nice. Throw you. Throw you guys. Just spray. There we go. And go ahead and throw them on this. We have we have more than enough time this episode to do everything we want. 
And there is the Geiger counter. Pardon me while I sniff because of my stupid allergies. Just a second, turning the mic off. Sorry about that. Man, my allergies. I hate them. Geiger counter. This noisy gauge is always letting off spontaneous clicks and buzzes. It can be kind of annoying. I have now recovered 10 of 30 parts. I am a third through the game. Yahoo! Sweet. Okay, so you guys go and carry that. Now, that is a Honey Wisp. If you throw a Pikmin at it and hit it, which really not worth the effort, but if you do, it'll drop Nectar. Well, I guess you could argue that it's worth it, but I don't see it as being worth it since you have gr you have um, two things of grass next to you every single time you enter this area. So all you have to do is throw one Pikmin on it, and you can get multiple things of Nectar. So I rather not bother with that, so I don't. And man, got a lot of Pikmin today, I think, so far. Our blue numbers are way up, I think. Okay, and we have the Sagittarius. That is just decor. It, I don't think it does anything for the ship. And appears on the side, which you can barely see it. Sagittarius, this was a gift for my son. He must be very worried about me. Oh, I just thought of something. 1130 parts. I'm recording this on Father's Day. Oh, that's so sweet. That's really cool. Man. That's that's neat. I, I didn't think of that, but... We're recovering the the present from... Olimar's son to him on Father's Day. That's sweet. Huh. Okay, so what you want to do is speed throw all these guys up here. Speed throwing is probably the most useful technique in the game. If you look at this, I'm throwing these Pikmin like crazy. And if I just mash A, look how slow that is. But instead, I just machine gun them up there and stuff gets done it's really nice now speaking of father's day i have something that's really sweet of what my dad did today you know father's day is supposed to be the time where we appreciate dads well my dad my dad did something really nice and i'm gonna and pause it sorry about this but i just wanted to tell you guys this this is really sweet what my dad did is okay I've been talking about how I need a new computer for a long, long time. Well, as soon as the channel started, so a couple months. So I was saying that I need a new computer because my computer is not good at all. Like, seriously, my computer is horrible. So what he did is we looked for a computer today, and he decided that he would pitch in over half of the price for this computer and buy me a really good computer. Like, this computer is fantastic. Um, I'm not going to put the stats on screen, because as soon as I get this computer, I will be putting what it is and what it has in the video description. I didn't. The reason why I didn't do it with my computer is that my computer is so unnoteworthy, my current computer is so unnoteworthy, that it's not anything that LPR should pattern after me. Like, seriously, my computer is made just to go on the internet, and to use Microsoft Word. That is it. It, c it cannot do anything else without basically freezing the rest of the computer. I'm really surprised I've managed this long without it. I mean, with this computer. Without a good computer. So, yeah. My dad was really nice. So anyway, going back to the game. What we're fighting, what we're about to fight. You see it right there. The spider looking creature is an armored cannon beetle. It isn't really that hard, though it can be if you don't know what you're doing and are quote-unquote unlucky with aim. Okay, what you have to do is when it starts to try to shoot you, it'll shoot boulders at you. As you can see there. And are, is there nectar? No, there isn't. Um, whoa! Oh, I'm so surprised we didn't lose one! What you want to do is throw a Pikmin into its boulder hole. Okay. There, no. Okay, missed. Come on. Come on. Yes! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that's what we want. Now you speed throw stuff onto its back. Um, trying to speed throw. I'm clawing the GameCube remote. Okay, we got... We didn't get as much health as I'd want. Okay, now... No! Get over here! Okay, you guys barely made it. Come on! Come on! Come on! I so made it. 
Yes, 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 yes. Okay, there's our chance. There's our chance. And clawing the GameCube remote. Come on, you guys. You guys can bring him down. Bring him down. Bring him down. Did I bring him down? Yes, I did. Ooh, barely on time. Okay. Whistle everybody, including you, now. This is going to be the reward for the blues. Let's go ahead and dismiss them. You guys don't move. Okay. Now, our blues are all going to go on the armored cannon beetle. And is there enough? Yes, there is. Okay. Now, let's dismiss them again and put the others on this. There they are. Okay. Man. Okay, now let's put the rest of them on the treasure... Uh, the ship part. Sorry. I'm still used to Pikmin uh, 2. It's so surprising that I can't break that habit of calling things treasures after this long. Anyway. At last, my radiation canopy... This turns the harsh radiation of deep space into soft infrared rays that are easy on the body. I'll sleep like a baby once I get this back on the ship. Okay, so sweet. We can make Olimar sleep like a baby. Now, one thing I don't get is, okay, in the same day, he said that he doesn't know what a Geiger counter does. And that, that tracks the uh, intensity of radiation in an area. And yet... He knows what radiation is when he doesn't know what a Geiger counter is? That that seems a little bit backwards to me. Just a little bit. I don't quite get his his thought process on that one. I don't know if whether or not it's a hole in the game, or they purposefully kind of leave that out. I don't know, but it's kind of funny. Okay, now that we're getting so late in the day, let's go ahead and zoom out. We have no stray pi Pikmin. Also... On the upper right corner of the map, you see that thing? It looks like a four. What is that? I do not know what that is. Is that like a compass? Or what? It's it's a four. I don't get it. If you guys know, please post it in the comments since that's something I've always wondered. Okay. You guys go ahead and take care of this. And quickly, thank you. Come on, Blue. You're my buddy. And we have no Pikmin to pluck. I'm really interested to see our numbers. I think we've gotten maybe 150 Pikmin today, if not more. So, man, this was a very productive day. And it was, um, we had enough time for me to tell you a story of how sweet my dad is to me. So, yeah, I normally don't get time to tell stories in, in a Pikmin day just because it's so fast-paced. You have to focus on the, the game all of the time. and I don't get to tell stories like I do over on Skyward Sword. Anyway, radiation canopy. I'll have to inspect it later, make sure it isn't cracked. I'll be in for even more trouble if I have any radiation leaks. I've recovered 12 of 30, so sweet. And we've upgraded the ship. There it is. It looks, it looks like it's coming together. Although it's still open air, which is concerning. At least the cockpit isn't. Okay, guys, hurry. Hurry. Come on. Oh, they have enough time. What? I'm not... I shouldn't be worried. Oh! Oh. I... Oh, there was! Okay, you guys should have paused the video there, but there was just a graph... There was just a glitch that I've heard about. Oh, that's so cool. There's a glitch. Did you guys... Okay. We had 97 Pikmin, and there were four Pikmin... Uh, total carrying stuff to the red onion So it was basically saying that we had 107 Pikmin in the field. I Mean 101. I don't know why I said seven. That's so cool. I've heard about that glitch, but I've never experienced it for myself Oh, that's neat It doesn't damage the game at all But it is a glitch that randomly occurs in both versions of the game the Wii version and the GameCube version so that's neat that I encountered that glitch. I don't think I've ever had before or ever noticed it. Neat. Very eventful day today, and everything went very smoothly. Did we lose one? No, we... Okay, we lost 11 Pikmin today. Or 12. No, we lost 12. But I'm perfectly fine with that because I think we got 150 Pikmin. Which is uh, three times more than I thought we would. Neat. Five days since, since impact. I have managed to the, increase the range of the dolphin. 
Looking from the dolphin's portal as it launches even higher into the sky, I see a vast wetland in the deepest parts of the forest. I shall call it the Distant Spring. I can begin my explora exploration of it tomorrow. For now, I must sleep. Oh, okay, we, we got 93 Pikmin. That's that's still really good. We we brought the Pikmin numbers from we brought the blue Pikmin numbers from 33 to 103, and the red Pikmin numbers from I think 80 something to 107, and yellow Pikmin are the same. So neat. We lost 12, but that's fine. This is no not a no death run, and we gained way more than we lost. Sweet. I'm liking this. I'm very confident that. Next episode, we will be able to go into the Forest Naval and not finish things out, but get uh, two-thirds of the way done with the Forest Naval. Then we can go to this new area, the Distant Spring, which sounds kind of menacing. Okay, we have 12 ship parts. We have 18 parts remaining and 25 days remaining to get them all in. I release... Pikmin episodes, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and Skyward Sword episodes, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. So, I will see you next time for another Pal Plays Pikmin. See you guys tomorrow. Save.